But here we go, Gelo. It's main event time. My favorite night of the part of the evening. Mine too, because you know what? After this match, we get to go right down the road and enjoy the after party. Well, that's true. Our sponsors at Bow Time. Great food in a great establishment. The home of all Rocky the Mountain Road is an Aces parties. Wild Dealer. Normally, I would never bet against Curtis Cole and his ways. However, when it comes to this man, I might have to change my tune. And his from the Navajo Nation. Navajo Warrior! I am never betting against Navajo Warrior. Not in a thousand years. Look at this man. Carved out of chill, uh, uh, granite. Pride in himself, his heritage, and he fights for all. Well, the winner of this match will have that fourth and final spot in the semifinals of the Aces Wild Tournament. And you know what? Navo's got a cool ass beard, too, by the way. I, I admit that, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm trying to do it myself. I got beard it's, it's, it's getting there. I mean, I guess the more I'm around Curtis Cole, the whiter my beard will get. You to death. Yes. Curtis Cole now in the ring is Navajo Warrior. Notice that Navajo Warrior, since he got out here, never took his eyes off Curtis Cole. No, and that's what Navajo Warrior does. He's focused. He keeps his eye on the prize. He knows what he has to do. Fans of the Wim Arena letting Curtis Cole know exactly how they feel about it. They, they're not too pleased with Curtis Cole. Maybe not the best idea by Curtis Cole. You're poking the bear there, Curtis. Don't <laughs> do it. Don't do it. That's just not a normal bear. That's a grizzly bear. This man in Navajo Warrior has a strength of 10 men. Just sends Curtis Cole right to the end. corner again. And Nob, notice that what Nob's doing, he's keeping in the center of the ring, making it known this is my ring, this is my territory. Curtis Cole's got to come to him. Nob's not going to go to him. You want to go get up? Okay. And, and you see, you can clearly see the size, the weight advantage for Navajo Warrior. I can tell you the strength advantage for Navajo. Oh, my goodness. Those tomahawk chops. Wow. Right across the chest. Going to cave in the chest of Curtis Cole. Snob sends Curtis Cole into the ropes. Beautiful back elbow drops this former Rocky Mountain Pro champion. Excuse me. Matt Man is actually a triple crown champion here in Rocky Mountain Pro. Former Rocky Mountain Pro champion, charge champion, and tag team champion. Wow. Such accomplishments. What? Right here, Navajo. Look smartly, not rushing in. Taking his time. That's a veteran move right there. Making Curtis come to him. And like a moth to a flame, Curtis does every time. Hard sh shot to the chest, followed by another chop and a second. Going to whip Curtis Cole into the ropes. Just eats a close line from Navajo Warrior. Now picking him up. Big body slam there. Off the ropes, here he comes. Drops the elbow, now goes for the cover. Now let's think about this. Look who else is involved in the Aces Wild Tournament in the semifinals. You have Dak Draper. You have Sledge. You're going to have one of either Curtis Cole or Navajo Warrior. And no matter who advances, you've got some great talent left in this Aces Wild Tournament. Curtis taking a little break here, stepping away, creating distance, catching his breath. You can really think, you can see, Curtis is rethinking this whole strategy here. Oh, 
Curtis Bay didn't have a warrior in. I mean, we may not like Curtis Cole the way he does things, but we got to admit, though, it is rather effective. It is effective, and he knows how to play the mental games. Just stalking Navajo down. Oh, oh. chopping the leg out. Shot block right there. That's illegal in the NFL, by the way. Well, right to work, continuing on that knee. And Adila, I gotta, I, you feel free to admonish me. I've got to admit that I was wrong this entire time. This is not our last quarterfinal match in the Aces Wild Tournament. We have one more next week in our main event as G Rivera takes on Craig Fairley, El Rey Leon, with the winner getting that final slot in the semifinals. I won't hold your feet to the fire. I'll just tell you, more Aces Wild Tournament, more better. There's a foot DDT there. And what does that do, Dale? We see that move a lot, especially from someone like Curtis Cole, grabbing the leg and driving that ankle into the floor. What does that do? It's not about the ankle. It's about sending a shockwave up the Achilles tendon. And that's what it is. It's basically trying to limit your mobility. No. What a night it's been so far on charge, ladies and gentlemen. But coming up next week, what a card we have for you as Craig Fairley, like you said, takes on Gino Rivera. How about that? Well, one team we will see working well together is the team of JK Pop. They will be in action as well. And so will JC. Yeah. You, uh, you, you get a team of JK Pop, they are so like an oil, well oiled machine. They are a locomotive. And right now, no one can stop them. Champion had held tag team gold for over a thousand days, D -Lo. Wait a minute, Curtis Cole, we saw him pull him out of the knee pad. He's got those knucks. Wait a minute, ducks oh, he swung wild. Wait, he's got him, he ducks him. Oh, back. Oh, oh he caught him right shot. between the eyes. And I don't think the ref saw it. No, not at all. And Curtis running for high ground. If I can use the uh, old battle, the old adage of run like a scalded dog. But Curtis Cole advances in the Aces Wild Tournament. We have more Aces Wild Tournament next week.